I'm Günter Wamser. I'm from Germany. 29 years ago, I started in Argentina with two horses. My idea was to ride from Argentina all the way to Alaska. My name is Sonja Endelweber. I saw an announcement of Günther's presentation of his trip from Argentina to Mexico, traveling 11 years on horseback. Let's go. And when I saw it, I realized this is the way you should live. And I just immediately know that's what I wanted to do. And I sent him this email saying, I'm coming with you. And it took some time to convince him but finally, he agreed that we could travel together, and that's how it all started out. Right now, we're in Washington riding on a PCT, and in fact, uh, I, I think I still do the same thing like 29 years ago. I'm out there in the nature with my horses. We both travel with uh, four horses, that means two riding horses, two pack horses. Our four horses uh, have been wild Mustangs once. It's Dino, Lightfoot, Azabache and Rusty. And now since a year we have Charlie, our Border Collie. So uh, that's the team we travel since 15 years together now. And in the pack horse is everything we need. Yeah. Yep. So that means we don't have much. And if you go out for weeks, you cannot take stuff which doesn't work. You, you have only the choice to take a couple things, but they must be reliable. You know what I love about tents is that every night you can choose your, your, the place for your home. And it's just like building a new house every night. This is a Caram 3 GT, which means it has, has the extension uh, of a vestibule. It gives you a lot of luxury space. Because we travel on horseback, we can carry the extra weight. We don't need to go that ultra light. As soon as the tent is set up, that's the place she goes to rest and sleep. Good thing is that I'm so short, so this is how Günther and I sleep, and then Charlie gets her blanket here, which is a one of the horse blankets. Good night. Come boys. Come. Traveling with horses that makes your life to something really special, but it makes the traveling not easier. So if you decide to take a horse just because uh, you love horses or the horses carry your luggage, now that's not the point why you take a horse. You have to have a passion. But to explain what's so beautiful with horses, 
horses are not a way of transport like like a bicycle or a motorbike. They are your friends. And for so many years we traveled together. So that connects somehow. And um, yeah, and uh, it's just beautiful. The question how we finance the trip seems to be the question that, that most people ask first. And it kind of surprises me because there are so many other questions that are way more difficult to answer. If you want to do something like that, you have 100 problems ahead. So financing is just one of them. But one thing or one secret is the money it's not the most important thing. Like a millionaire, just because he has the money, he can't do such a trip. He can't do it. If you want it, if you have the wish, then you can do it, and the money is the other thing. You have to think about how much money do I really need, and you need a lot less than you think. So it's just a matter of balancing. And we did it by doing slideshow presentations and writing books. But I think there are way more complex questions that people, I think, should think more about. If you just think about the money, and it's an excuse, really, for not doing it, you know. <laughs> Günther was already using the Karen TD when I met him, and I just love this, this tent, you know, it gives us enough room to live in it. We are not just out there for a week, we are out there for the whole year. So it's not, it's not just a tent for a weekend, it's our home. So we are still riding on the PCT here in Washington. It's not necessarily our goal to get to the Canadian border. It's more our goal to enjoy as much time as we still have before winter hits us. And uh, then we, we want to travel down in Arizona. We have a permit to ride through the Grand Canyon. We would like to ride the Arizona Trail and into New Mexico get to the Gila River, where in 2007 our trip together, Gunther's and my trip, started going up the Continental Divide Trail. So by then we will have done a big loop across the American West on horseback. And then finally we're going to ride the horses into Texas to fly them home to Germany. They have been traveling good partners for so many years and now we think with the age they need more attention and who can give them more attention than like we ourselves. And uh, a journey which began with horses, after so many years it became a lifestyle. <laughs>